Hey guys, so one very important key when it comes to self-defense or training or even sports is balance. You need good core strength, you also need balance. So you wanna work your stabilizers. Those are all those little muscles that are gonna fire when you're off balance. So when you're shadow boxing, you wanna you know, lower your center of gravity, you wanna be able to throw your strikes and move if you're shadow fighting. So what I do to really work my balance even more is I'll do a couple of exercises with the Swiss ball. Very simple first exercise is to actually just go on your knees. So you want to try to balance on your knees and then what I'll do from here, my core is fired. You can tell the ball is moving and I'll, I'll shadow box at the same time. You can see all these little muscles are firing to keep me balanced. And what that does is that if I clinch with the person and I'm about to slip or fall, all those little muscles are going to fire and help me stay strong and help, help me keep, keep my balance. So another exercise that I do is I go on the ball. Right, so now you can tell every little muscle in my body is firing to stabilize. And from there, shh, 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 oh, shh, 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 shh. I'll throw my elbows and I'll throw my strikes at the same time. I'll even try to go down, I'll slip. You can also simulate you're trapping the knife, you're moving, you're about to slip and fall, and I'm throwing those strikes. So all these little muscles are working. Now, I often see people um, go on the ball and press with weights and I used to do that like years ago today I realized that if you want to build strength do it on a good solid you know do it on the ground static position where you can lift doing that stuff on the ball is dangerous as far as I do anything on the ball it's exactly what you saw I'll shadow box on it I'll shadow fight I'll squat with it I'll move my body in different angles and just work my strikes at the same time if you're having a hard time first, if it's the first time you do this, just by start by being able to do this. And then as you get more comfortable here, where you come up, then you can just throw your strikes. You can tell how my body's moving, so my core has to fire to stabilize to keep me nice and tight. So guys, this is a great, again, when you're training, you need to be, you need a lot of different Different, you know, use a lot of different tools. Don't just stick to one thing. I do kettlebells, I do balance, I do agility stuff, I do explosive power, mix it up. There's not only one way or one way of training. Sometimes I'll do it in cycles where I'll work, you know, for period strength, then power, then endurance, and sometimes I'll mix it up. Today it's mostly interval training I do. So I'll do a body part, I'll go heavy, and then I'll jump in, I'll do a minute or two minutes of rowing or burpees or stairs or skipping. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to tune in Saturday for the self-defense tip of the week. Uh, sign up to our newsletter, coderedefense.com. Stay safe and stay strong.